Hello, people. The Friends of Theory 2 here. Finally. <laughs> um, the reason I've been delaying this is because of school, and I had PSATs today. And that was really catching on to the fact that I got to hone down these videos. Also, this video is in dedication to another friend of mine, much like my Wipeout Revenge video. This one's dedicated to my friend Michelle, just for being very kind and being a really good friend. Pretty self-explanatory. We're really good friends, and this one's in dedication to her. I hope she enjoys one of my videos and see what she thinks about them. So, on to the actual review. This is Wrecking Crew for the NES. <coughs> we'll get to the design mode later. So, the first time I played this, I had no idea what I was supposed to do. Basically, you're supposed to punch everything with your hammer until everything's gone. And yes, these ladders right here are indeed bombs. Every one of those aluminum-like things, they take one hit to destroy, as well as the ladders. <laughs> the, the lightly colored bricks take two hits to destroy, and those really dark colored ones, you see that one down there, they take three. You gotta destroy everything on screen, and why did I do that? Just in case you're wondering, those those red things down there aren't actually things you're supposed to destroy. One, two. One, two, three. This better not be dr as drawn out as my blind run of Moai Khan. <laughs> I mean, if you're reviewing games, then I highly recommend that you do not blind run them because they just last way too long and you have to spend the entire time figuring things out. Like as you saw, I was blind my my actual review of Ratchet and Clank going commando on the PS2. Yeah, stayed safe for good measure just for those who heard that uh that slight sound delay. Um my f that was actually my second attempt for that video and I'm not even kidding by saying my first attempt to make that video actually lasted 54 minutes. I'm not kidding. So, please don't blind run games. Unless you're really prepared to, for the time of your life, it really wastes you a lot of time. <coughs> so... Alright, one more level and then I'll get to the design mode. Don't worry, I'll pro I promise I'll do that. I want to make sure I destroy everything up here before I actually work on everything else. <laughs> oh god! Oh my god. I gotta make sure these guys come right back down. So I have an easier time dealing with those things right up here. These things right up here. So you don't want to punch those bombs by accident. It won't do you any good. And you gotta watch out for the fire as well. I had no idea how you'd have to deal with that. Alright. Go find the coin. You gotta find it before he does. And I did it!
All right, that's all I'm gonna show. So on to the design mode. Okay, so now we're moving on to the design mode, and unlike the traditional select um, mode select thing here, you can actually press up and down the D-pad, and much like Ice Climber, you can select the the stage that you want to do by pushing A and B. I almost said Z and X, because that's what I'm using on my keyboard. And you can do just... Oh, you can only have four? Hmm, never knew that. So, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just, well, sign levels. So, I'm not actually going to be doing this or anything, but a bit of a situation that I'd like to actually discuss here. Um, <coughs> I was originally supposed to do it yesterday, this review, but I didn't want to have to have to have PSATs on my mind while I'm doing this. That would just be too much for me to have to worry about, and... I also forgot that I actually had two episodes planned for this month as opposed to one, which I plan to do for the rest of junior year, so don't expect many videos from me. At least the ones that, w that aren't as cluttered-packed as last year's were. Sophomore year. I had, like, a bunch of time on my hands for me to make these videos. And... Well, it's just a lot of work. Not making the videos, but also school as well. So... I forgot what I was going to say. You can... Well, I think about it, you could, like, select these blocks. And that kind of thing. Oh, but you can't have... More than seven, I guess. Hmm. Well, I'm also doing driver's ed, so that would be getting in the way as well. <coughs> oh yeah, my next review is going to be next week. It's it's the Halloween special. That's why I. That's all I thought that I'd be doing this month. And for those of you wondering, my next review is going to be the Adventures of Doctor Frank and for the Super Nintendo. You saw the nerd review it. Yeah, that is pretty much all I have to talk about here. I mean, I showed you Wrecking Crew and the design mode, so stay tuned for that. Well, stay tuned for whatever's coming up next. And I don't think I'm too worried about time, but I may as well end it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the videos that I've made so far end this one, and I hope you enjoy the ones that I plan to make in the near future. And I'll see you a little before Halloween when I actually do the review. This is the Fredster32, signing out.